you are going to be tried the most. You're going to be tested the most. You're going to be opposed the most when you elevate. So right before the elevation, you are going to be hit in every way that you think you would never be hit. But whenever you are going through an elevation, you got to push. You got to push. You got to push through this. You got to push through the pain. You got to push through the test. You got to push through the trial. You got to push through the opposition. And you have to always, always keep before you what you are going to gain when you get to the other side of this problem. Because you're not going to stay on this side. I know the enemy wants you to think you're going to stay on this side, but he's a liar. You're not going to stay on this side. You can't crack. You can't break. You can't quit. You can't throw the towel in. You can't cave in. You can't stop pushing. You got to push through the pain. Yes, it's hard. And yes, it's difficult. And yes, it can become unbearable. But this is the time where you got to lean. You got to depend on God. You got to trust and you got to keep fighting. You know, when you go through so many hits in life, you got to learn how to talk to you. You got to learn how to have positive dialogue with who you are. You have to. Right before your elevation, you're going to be tested. Right before God elevates you, you're going to be tried the most you're going to go through so much lack before you are elevated. You are. You are going to be tried. You're going to be tested because God has to prove what's on the inside of you. But you can't crack. You cannot crack under pressure. You cannot break under pressure. You don't let stuff break you. You don't let a test break you. You don't let a trial break you. You don't let a storm break you. You got to know who you are. You got to know what power you got. You got to keep going. You got to keep pressing. You owe this to yourself. You owe this to you. This isn't about anybody else in your life. This isn't about anybody that left you. This isn't about anybody that dog you out. This is not by anybody who, who forsook you, who didn't appreciate you, who didn't value you. This isn't about any of those people. You owe this to you. If you want to be successful to show somebody you can make it, who walked out and left you, you've lost it. You don't understand the purpose behind God giving you true success. Your success and your elevation has nothing to do with anybody but you and the promise that God made you before you get elevated. You just can't crack. Before you get pushed up to the top, you're going to know what it feels like to be to the bottom. You know why? Because God wants you to empathize with people who are where you used to be. You're going to have to learn how to sympathize with people who are coming out of that thing that you were stuck in, that you thought you were never going to get out of. God is going to let you experience these things, family, because this is what's going to make you more effective. The more you go through things, the more you come out of it, you're going to learn and you're going to be more effective. You are. Don't break. Don't crack. Don't break. Don't crack under pressure. Don't fold under pressure. You're just elevating. You're trying to figure out what in the world is going on in your life. You're getting ready to be elevated. Yes, you're getting ready to be elevated. All of the opposition, Nikki, is what God is saying that I'm getting ready to be elevated. Absolutely. You are getting ready to be elevated. You are getting ready to be elevated from the place that you're in right now. God going to push you through that. You got to push through. He's going to elevate you. You got to push through. You got to push through the pain. You got to push push through these tests. You got to push through these trials. You got to push through these hardships. You can't crack. You can't break. God built you for that. You were built for the pressure. Did you know that you were built for the pressure that you're going through it with right now? It may, don't, it may not feel like it to you, but you were born for this. You were born to defeat whatever is trying to defeat you. Whatever is trying to hinder you and block you, prevent and frustrate and hinder your purpose and your kingdom assignment, it won't do it. It won't be successful. It's not going to happen. It's not. Hashtag that is not going to defeat me. This is not going to take you out. This is not going to defeat you. All the signs are around you. All the synchronicities God is showing you 
Take heed to it. Just like he wants us to take heed to warnings, take heed to the signs that God is showing you. He's putting it right in your face and he's letting you be tested. He's letting you be tried. He is family. It's not going to destroy you. You feel like this is it. You feel like this is the last straw. You can't take anymore. I'm going to give up. No, you're not going to give up. God will not let you give up. When you're chosen and you really belong to him, he's not going to let you give up. You can't give up. Think about what you're going to get in the end. Think about the reward that you're getting ready to receive. You think about the breakthrough. You think about how happy you're going to be on the other side of this problem. So many people want success, but they don't want to do what it takes to get there. This is why so many people don't succeed. And a small percentage of people do gain success in the things that God has for them. Because they want the promise, but they don't want to the test. They don't want that pressure. Pressure builds you. Pressure is not going to destroy you. You're not going to lose your mind. You're not. Are you kidding me? You belong to the king. You belong to the most high God. And you're not going to fold under pressure. I speak life over to you today. I speak life over your situations. I speak courage over you. I speak strength over you today. I speak, speak direction that you're, you're wanting, that God will give you the direction that you've been praying for. You're being elevated. Trying to figure out why you take a step and you get knocked 10 steps back because you're being elevated and the devil wants to discourage you to stop going, to stop trying. Don't you ever stop trying. Don't you ever stop trying. I don't care what you go through with. You got to know God is going to come in there and God is going to deliver you. He's going to do it. Thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today. If you are enough, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and share. Jump over to Instagram and give us your support and keep purchasing the copy of your book, family. We're grateful for the testimonials. Go get it. Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. You can purchase that book on any e excuse me on any uh, online platform in ebook and paperback format. Go get it for somebody else. You've been elevated. And right before you get elevated, you're going to be tried. You're going to be tested. You're going to be persecuted more than you ever have in your life. You're going to be forsaken. You're going to be dropped. You're going to be overlooked. You may suffer loss. You may have an emotional setback. You may see some deficits in your life. But God is setting you up for the greatest breakthrough in your life. God is setting you up for the greatest miracle. You're being elevated. Don't break. Don't break. You're being elevated. Don't crack. You're being elevated. Don't turn around and go away that God didn't tell you to go. Wait upon the Lord because he's going to renew your strength. God is going to renew your strength. You feel like you can't make another step. God say, hold on. I'm coming. I'm going to renew your strength. Don't let the devil take your faith. He can take anything he want. He can take. But listen, favor that's on your life will replace that. Did you know that? We don't give him permission to take. But what I'm saying to my family is when the enemy call itself taking things from you, favor will replace it with more than the devil took. But when you know your enemy, when you know why he came, family, don't give him room and don't give him place. This is what God means when they say, don't give the enemy place, seal up the cracks, close your windows, bolt your doors and keep that spirit man strong. You've been elevated. You are being elevated. Don't you crack. Don't you break. You've been praying and you've been asking God to open a door for you. The door is being opened. You're going through chaos, but through chaos, God is going to bring change in your life through the chaos. He is. You got to believe it. You got to believe you can do it. If you can take it, you can make it. You get knocked down, but you get lifted right back up. You may fall a million times, but God said, I'm going to lift you up every single time because you belong to me. You're not going to be destroyed. God has given you a new beginning. You've been asking him for, and this is how he's going to give it to you. You've been elevated. You're not going to be utterly destroyed. People try to destroy you, didn't they? But you're not going to be destroyed. You can't be. You have the blood of the Lord over you. And you can't be destroyed. The enemy can send an error in your direction all he wants to. But by any means, nothing will be able to destroy you. It's not going to even come now your dwelling place, God said. He gave you a promise. 
You've already made it. You got to see yourself as an overcomer. You got to see yourself as a winner. God told us to speak things that be not as if it already existed. You speak things in your life that you want to see that you haven't seen yet in the physical realm. You have to first sit in the realm of the spirit before you can ever receive it in the natural realm. And that takes conditioning your mind. It takes reconditioning your mind. It takes reconstructing your mind to what God says you have a right to have and who God says you are. If you never believe who God says you are, if you never in your life believe you can become who God says you can become and you are who he says you are. You'll never receive it, and it rightfully belongs to you. This is why God speaks so much in the Word of God about our heart forgiveness and by transforming this mind that we have. This is the engine of your life. Wherever you want to go, make sure your mind is tuned up. Thank you for tuning in today. Go and have a good video. Excuse me. Go and have a good day today and share this video. Share this video. Keep hitting that like button for us and go back and revisit those pre recorded lives and videos. Don't break, don't crack. You're being tested the most because you are getting ready to be elevated. I'm so proud of all of you. Keep going.